Okay, so the engine is ready to come out. Let me just quickly show you what the wheel looks like. So it's not the cleanest wheel around. One of the few guys still running sides. Hi guys, welcome back to another video. And in this video, pull the engine out of that GTI. So this is messy work, but it should be fairly quick. The plan is fetch the carbon my parents, take it through to J2, pull the motor there and then just take it back. Um, I still haven't figured out what I'm doing with the bay. I need to have it cleaned and painted, but I haven't quite figured that one out yet. I'm not sure if I'm just going to DIY a rattle can it or what the plan is, but now let me just get that engine out and then I'll take it from there. And we are on our way. It is quarter to ten. Took a bit longer than I wanted to, but yeah, should be all good. So I was not expecting this. I thought I was going to be put in the corner and work uh, over there, but we've got a lift, which makes things so much easier. So this is going to be a lot more efficient. But yeah, it will be coming out soon. Okay, so the engine is ready to come out. Just need to pull it out to the branch, everything. That was, yeah, quick fast. Okay, it's out. And now I have to deal with, with this mess. Um, I think I'm just gonna pull all of this off. Try and clean it. I need to take the the branch off leave the branch off and just leave the carb on it maybe take the box off okay so we've wrapped up here I will show you guys what the bay looks like clean it as best I can it looks a bit better in there but for now we've just got, got a cable tie holding the bonnet down we should be good to go home. It's so funny because it's so high. I'm currently on my way to bespoke prototyping. So I lost my two side skirt covers, both fronts lost. I don't know what happened to it. <laughs> it's gone. And both front uh, wheel caps. So I asked him to make me two of each. So I don't know when and where I lost these things. I obviously need to secure them a bit better. I'm not entirely sure how I'm going to secure the skirt covers better, but it needs something. And another thing I want him to do is make me a wheel cover. I, I'm driving so I can't really show you now, but I've got this wheel. I bought this wheel in the week. I am so excited about it. It's a, a Momo Ermsha. I think I think that's what it is. So it, it comes out of a Isuzu Trooper. It's like we didn't get them here. It's like an import model. But it yeah, it's it's a very cool wheel and OEM plus sort of thing. But it didn't come with a center pad. So it's not like a router button. It's literally just like a center cover. I was going to run the wheel, just cut the wires to the hooters and just run it like that but then I saw the Ital Volante that came that the E30 DTM cars used to run it's, it's just a flipping nice wheel and I just thought hey I can just make a cover that looks similar and it would be like my budget Ital Volante so I'll put it up on the screen what the Ermsha supposed to look like and then I'll post a picture of the Ital Volante. It's it's similar yet different. So I'm gonna check if Ross can make me a cover that looks similar and then I'll have I'll have it wrapped in leather. So then it should look nice. I don't think I'll be able to do that whole baseball finish. I will check with the company that does the leather but if if they could that'll be cool but if not I'll just basic leather wrap I don't know if I'm going to try and emboss something on it or put a sticker on it. I'm not too sure how I'm going to like 
branded but we'll see it's a cool little project a side quest if you will so we just started the raining so let me just quickly show you what the wheel looks like so it's not the cleanest wheel down but I do think that it will work for what I wanted to do so I was just gonna chop these wires off and then just put a Momo one button in the center but I think it's gonna look really nice with the cover on it hopefully I can get like a decent leather that will sort of match it but yeah I'm pumped let's see what Ross can do with it I'm currently on my way to MSA and it's looking like a really bad day for racing I was so excited to come through to this event quite a lot of guys signed up and registered so yeah it was it was going to be a good one but I think it's it's just the bust we'll go through see who's there maybe sort of get a gauge of what times the guys are running but yeah quite unfortunate this is a car a lot of people are excited to see today it looks fantastic I wonder if guys are pulling out there's a very long line of cars but like it here One of the few guys still running sides. Very nice car. These skinnies at the back are so big, 25 inch skinnies, it just looks massive. But this car's got some nice bits. Look at this rear axle. Very cool. My man's Lester is out here. He's running on his basically robot racing setup. So we're quite curious to see what times it does, what the 60s are. Could be a good uh, estimate on sort of what my car would do at an MSA event. However, it's not prepped. So I'm not expecting too much. But there's a good amount of cars out here. Which is quite nice. This 46 looks good. Okay, Lester's lining up. I'll try and get uh, 360 in-car footage from him. If he is recording, hopefully he is. Yeah, I didn't bring my other camera over, so you guys are not going to get anything close to the action, unfortunately. Oh, something happened to the Ranix. Less is running. Looks like a nice clean pass. What is the time? <laughs> and a 12.5. 12.5 at 200. is up this will be second run on the toys he might be switching to the slicks let's see if he can run or match the cars pb on the toys keep chasing me away i need to get i need to get a band or some access to uh, film a bit closer but yeah sounds like a bark
another 12 five. 198 Let's see if Zach's gonna go 10th 11 1 on the previous previous pass. Oh, it looks like something broke there. No reverse. All the gods are dying. We've had. <laughs> We've had a few breakages. Guys are doing the burnout. Can't select reverse. Oh, you're just leaving. <laughs> what is going on? <laughs> Go 11s. Nine at one ninety something. At no speed. Less this third round for the day. Facing an infinity one forty. Ah, this thing is quite fast. Solid burn out there. Cost it still. time I didn't record his run but uh, big puff of smoke in basically top of third something let go in the motor so yeah hopefully it's not too bad he said there's no hole in the block so it should be repairable and then they'll be back out but yeah the car was moving on that run I don't know what's going on on the BMW guys but they are literally spinning everywhere Things are getting serious over here. Slicks are coming out. Yeah, 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 yeah. The man is slicked up and ready to go. Very conservative on tire pressure. Let's see what it does. <laughs> Get it? 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 Get it?
Not much heat in those tires, but let's see how they work. Hopefully, hopefully it doesn't bog. If that thing bog. That is a bad bog in that run. Lots the time. Diet. Diet. Get in. Oh. Get in Side. 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 He pulls it together, leaves it up high enough and runs a PB. So I think a 12 4 is the time to beat. Let's hope uh, 12 3 or anything better. B58 has been running high 11s. The car looks completely stuck, but it's that's fast. <laughs> Come on, Lester. Bring it, bring it home. More RPM, Lester. More, more. No. That's a very nice run against the B58. Lester takes it. Oh, that's unfortunate. So the plan was not to end this video off with MSA action. Because it wasn't really supposed to feel like an MSA feature. I just happened to be at the event and recorded some videos. Then I kind of got sick yesterday and I couldn't film anymore so I'll have to update you guys on that in the next one. There is progress on the steering wheel center pad. I'm quite excited about that, just need to go collect it and then have it wrapped in leather. And no real progress on the 16 valve. There is progress but nothing I can really show you guys right now so I will update you on that as and when. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this one. Like and subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll catch you guys in the next one.